Hey everybody, thank you for joining this uh, MSCRM add-ons webinar. Um, today we're going to be covering uh, document generation in uh, dynamic CRM and how, it's, how we make it easy. I um, just want to say a little bit uh, first before we get started. Um, I don't know if you've been here before, uh, welcome back. And if this is your first time, uh, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, as always, uh, there is chat functionality there at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Um, you can use that at any time to answer any, uh, ask any questions or anything like that that you may have. Um, got some team members in the chat there that will be able to answer those questions for you. Um, again, at the end of the presentation, we'll do a, a question and answer session. And as always, we record these um, webinars and then post them on our website afterwards uh, so that you can come back and, and review it if you'd like. All right, great. So starting off, um, we want to talk a little bit about the need for document generation from CRM. Um, what we basically try to do was come up with something that would make this process easy without having to work with the mail merge that comes standard with um, inside of CRM, or you know use the SSRS um, SS, having SSRS knowledge to generate reporting, etc. Uh, you know, we wanted to make this simple for everybody because you know some of the needs that you have for document generation from your CRM data would be like, for example, the lead to close process where you get in a new lead and you want to send them some specs, or you know you start working on that opportunity and you're sending them contracts and uh, you know NDAs, etc. Um, you're getting the close there as well, where there's quotes and proposals. Um, and winning that deal, sending out your invoices, orders, and your uh, your payment and shipping confirmations. Um, other things that we've seen people uh, use this tool for is for marketing, for personalized campaigns, uh, creating flyers and brochures, and uh, generating just personalized emails. Um, from the service aspect of it, we've seen people work with this and send out service reports, uh, you know, contracts, checklists, uh, shipping and tracking info, etc. And then there's also been a lot of customization, custom work with this. Uh, you know, basically anything that you can do um, with uh, in, in CRM. You know, if you got a custom entity that you want to create a document, use that information to create a document with. You can do so. And then some interesting things like portal integration or different customizations. Uh, we've seen the tool be used for that before as well. Um, so basically, the the product that we're talking about is Documents Core Pack. Um, and it's a unified document solution uh, that's used to create uh, and process and automate this document generation. And the goal is basically simplified generation and processing of documents based on your CRM data. Uh, the major value of this is it speeds up document-related business operations, whether that be reporting, for example, or accounting, you know, doing your quotes and invoices, uh, mailings or printings. And then also it has uh, document automation, which uses the uh, built-in CRM uh, you know, workflows and dialogues there. We basically extend that functionality to allow you to generate these documents automatically with kind of no user interaction whatsoever. All of our templates are based in, um, on MS Word. Um, so basically everything is created in Microsoft Word. So it's a simple template design. Uh, you don't need any SSRS knowledge. And, uh, it also supports custom entities, um, attributes, and does uh, multi-relational multi support as well. Um, we can do other things such as you know, calculations, put in QR codes, add dynamic pictures, and the list kind of goes on from there. So basically, how does it work? Um, basically, uh, there's, there's a couple of different things that it, that, that it does. So where are the documents generated? Um, the documents are either generated either by plugins inside of your CRM instance or uh, by a document generation service. Um, this service can either run locally on one of your own servers or it can run in the cloud as well. So we do have that option um, if you're kind of going towards cloud-based or using CRM online. It's a, a, a great thing. Um, how do we initiate the document generation? Uh, basically, we have a couple different ways to do that. Uh, one being the document generation wizard, or I call it the, it's the document, uh, documents core pack dialog. Um, it's a user-driven dialog that uh, basically your user is going to be able to go in and set a few settings, and then it's going to be able to spit out a document and do several things with it. Um, and I'll show that here in the demo in just a moment. Um, also, it integrates into processes. So we add a few things, um, add a few commands to your workflows and dialogs that uh, will actually allow you to generate these documents on the fly, um, attach them to emails, 
etc. Um, and uh, you know, it basically just is a total automation of that process. Um, what options does it provide? Uh, you can create documents several different file types. You know, you can attach it to create and attach it to new emails, etc. Save it to a note, save it to SharePoint. The list goes on and on and on. And I'll kind of go over a few of those as I go into the demo. Um, so in this demo, uh, basically what I'm going to show you is three ways that you can speed up document generation. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to take a, a, a quote um, and uh, just you know, as, a, as a use case scenario, you, know, you send these quotes out to customers. Okay. So basically that's what I'm going to do. And the three different methods that I'm going to use here is I'm going to use the command bar integration, so, which is the Documents Core Pack dialog. Kind of go through that and show you that. Um, then also I'm going to show you the, uh, the one-click actions that we can do with it. Um, uh, also show you a document automation process where we're going to actually um, have, we have a workflow that we have that's actually going to generate this document and attach it to the email, etc. And I'll show you those in just a second. Some of the things that I want you to look out for, some of the spotlight features, and this is uh, kind of new. Um, I mean, some of you all have already used Documents Core Pack and are familiar with it. But uh, these are basically new features here that we have. One, the one that I'm most excited about is uh, being able to actually edit the document um, using Microsoft Word uh, without the need of a client installation. Um, and uh, the next thing would be the instant preview, uh, where instead of having to download the document and open it up, you're, automatic, you're able to actually click on that and instantly view that document after it's been created. So I'm going to go ahead and flip on over to the demo system here and uh, go right into my quotes. And I've got one of these quotes up here. I'm just going to go ahead and pull that up. And uh, you see I've got a quote here. And uh, let's say that I just want to email this quote out to my, uh, my customer here, this MSC or Maddons, my MSC or Maddons.com customer. So the first thing I do um, would come up. I'd come up here and use this Create Document button. So I'll go ahead and click that, um, and it opens up that Documents Core Pack dialog. So I'm going to go ahead and step through the process so you guys can see everything. Um, what the the first window that I'm presented with is a list of basically all my templates related to this uh, to the quote entity. Okay, so I can pick and choose from that. I can also search. I can break it down into my different categories if I'd like. Uh, but you know, since I know exactly which one I'm going to choose, it's right here on the front. I'll go ahead and pick this uh, quote English nice. Uh, from there, I'll just go ahead and hit the Next button. It reads the information out and presents me with my options here. So I have the ability to attach this document in several different ways. One would be to a note. I could set it up as email content. Um, I can attach it to a letter, or in this, in this case here, I'm going to attach it as an email attachment here. Um, I can then pick my file type, what I want to spit the document out as. Uh, I have several different types here. Um, you know, the main one here that everyone usually likes to use is the PDF. So I'll go ahead and choose that PDF. Um, I can set up my mail recipients here, uh, who's actually going to, uh, this email is going to go to. And then I can select an email template here straight out of CRM that I have saved in CRM. So I'll just take the uh, quote email template here. I have the ability to automatically send this mail if I'd like, um, you know, right after it's done, but I'm, I'm going to kind of hold off on that. Also have the ability to print the document as well at the same time. Um, this printing can be done either to a, uh, a local printer, a network printer, or to uh, a cloud printer. So you have several different ways to print these, uh, print these documents out. Uh, last but not least, I have the ability to save that document to SharePoint if I'd like. Uh, once I've got all my options set up, I'll go ahead and click the Next button. And now what's happening basically is uh, you know, the Documents Core Pack service is going out. It's grabbing the template. It's merging the document. Um, and now it's presented to me here. So if I want to view the document um, using the Insta Preview, I just click on it, and I get an instantaneous preview of my document here. So I can flip through it. And, and check it out and make sure that everything is how I want it to be. Um, if there's something that I want to change, um, I can use this, edit, this new edit feature. I'll click the Edit button, and that document's opened up in Microsoft Word ready for me to edit. So if I want to add text or add something to it, I can just go ahead and do that. So I'll just put in here just a little thing, just edit text. And once I'm done doing that, I'll go ahead and close this out and save it. Okay. 
And it flips me back over to my Documents Core Pack dialog. So now that I'm finished with editing it, editing it, I'll go ahead and click Finish, and it's going to go ahead and attach that to an email for me. So I'll finish it up. It opens up that email for me. And as you can see here, everything's already done. Everything's filled out. Regarding is already set. I've got my, uh, my template in here. And then I have my document as well. Now uh, just to kind of show you, I'll go ahead and open up that document. And you can see here that I've got my document with my edits in there. Um, so convert it to a PDF and attach to that. So you can see how you can really quickly and easily send out um, uh, an email really quick um, and generate that document really quickly just with a couple of clicks. Um, one other thing that's really nice about this is I'm going to basically do the same thing again, except this time what I've done here is use one of our one-click actions. Okay? And I've gone ahead and set this up. And uh, so that it basically pre-selects everything for me. Um, it's actually going to um, attach this document to an email, uh, attach, uh, you know, convert it to a PDF, everything like that. Uh, it's, so I'll go ahead and just click that. As you see, it rolls right into the document creation process because all my stuff's already picked. Um, I can preview it again, so same document again. Um, if I want to, I can edit, and again, I'll just hit finish. And you can see here, it's the same process, but just made a lot easier. Um, so that's a, it's a pretty little slick little thing. So if you want to, you can actually set this up to where your users have uh, no choice. You know, it automatically is going to send that email out or send that report out. Or you, know, you can have it to where your users can maybe like you say you want them to be able to print that. So they can have that print option there. So you can set up as much as you want to or as little as you want to with those one-click actions. And you can also set up multiple ones. So you can have you know, two to three one-click actions um, based on entity, uh, whatever entity you want it to be based off of. Last but not least is, the, uh, is the, um, doing like this via workflow. So I have my workflow right here. Uh, basically what this workflow does is it goes through um, and it creates two documents here. I'm going to create one as a PDF. I'm going to create another one that's going to be the email body. So I'll create that as HTML. Um, I'll create my email, and then I'll attach the PDF to the email, and I'll attach the, uh, the email body to the email. So that will be uh, written in there. And now the way that this is done is that I have this field right here, this quote approved field. Um, so all I need to do in order to have that workflow fire off in the background is uh, approve this quote. Um, and I'll set it to yes, and then save my changes. And once that's done, I'll come back over here, and let's take a look at these process sessions here. I'll just refresh, and you can see here that it's already gone through and um, and, and and succeeded. So I'll just open that up here for a view. Um, there we go. Hold on a moment. Oh, it it chose the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> I, I was a little bit fast, a little bit fast there. So here we go. Let me choose the right one this time. Uh, so here we go. So it's gone through. Um, it has created both documents. Uh, it's also created my email. So I'm going to open up that email. And as you can see here, I've got here, this is my, my body here that's been inserted here into the document. I've also got uh, my quote um, already attached to that. Um, so this is a really nice little process here. Like if you want, you know, basically zero interactions, it's almost sim it's very similar to the one-click action, um, except this all happens in the background, basically with no user interaction. Um, they can move on uh, to the next thing after they're done. Um, I want to take a brief moment here and talk about a little bit uh, a little bit about what's upcoming here with uh, with Documents Core Pack. Talk a little bit about the roadmap. Uh, one of the things that's very, very close to completion, um, and a lot of people have asked about that, is um, the e-signature integration. So uh, we are working with DocuSign here. Um, that's going to be available, and we may add AssureSign to it. Um, basically, the way that this is going to work is in your template, you're going to define signature blocks. Okay? And from there, uh, you're able to initiate the DocuSign process uh, from the dialog. So, it will actually go out and send that information to anybody that needs to sign the document. It'll get up with DocuSign and send that all out. Um, so you'll be able to have uh, you know, e-signatures. Um, so it's a really exciting thing. Uh, probably uh, we're looking at about 
uh, one month, about a, well, about a month, it will be going out to the beta testers for people to try it out. Um, so this should be coming up very, very soon. Uh, another thing that we're working on is a proposal designer. Um, and basically what this proposal designer is going to do is it's going to allow you to create basically workbooks or, or you know, um, from multiple documents. So it's basically you take multiple documents and you combine them all into one entire workbook. Um, this is very useful, say for example, if you have, you know, you, 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 know, you want to send out a, a document that has the same cover page, uh, you know, maybe like, you know, the same body, and then, uh, you know, like some legal terms or something like that that, that differs from, you know, state to state. Uh, this will allow you to actually do that. So you'll be able to pull um, different documents in or different templates in and just basically combine them all into one workbook that you can send out um, to the customer. So it, it's, a really hand, it's going to be a really handy feature, and I know a lot of people have asked about that. Uh, last but not least is going to be um, our SharePoint tools. And uh, the SharePoint tools, uh, basically, it's, it'll help you with automatic creation, automated creation of SharePoint sites and folders. Um, it will also do subfolders as well. Uh, one of the things Documents Core Pack can already go ahead and create folders and subfolders, but um, was not able to create sites at this time. But uh, you know, with this integration, you'll be able to create those um, and kind of have everything you know, between CRM and SharePoint. Uh, it, it'll just be much easier to use and uh, much easier to keep like naming conventions, etc., um, across the entire organization. Another thing that's really important um, is it will basically sync uh, your CRM security to your SharePoint sites and folders. Uh, this is something that's really good for our administrators because it's um, basically you know you're having to administrate two things. You're having to administrate you know your 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 CRM, also your SharePoint. Well, with this, basically, if a user um, inside of CRM is not allowed to like look at certain entities or something along those lines, and you're creating these documents and having them saved to SharePoint, you don't have to remember to go over to SharePoint and do the same thing for the same user so that they can't view these documents or these document locations or things of that nature. Um, it will sync those two together, um, so you, that's something that you don't have to worry about. It takes that out of the equation. Um, so this is a, a very big thing. Um, that we think is a very big thing. It's going to just ease the administrative, administrative tasks and uh, make it a lot easier for the users. So I uh, want to thank you for joining us. Um, feel free to join our upcoming webinars. Um, the next one is actually going to be um, in three weeks, three weeks from now. Uh, we're going to be covering and kind of unveiling our new activity tools. Um, it basically allows you to get through activities um, inside of CRM, kind of view them and go through them and see them at a glance, kind of gives you that outlook, look and feel inside of CRM. So please feel free to join us on that. A couple of resources that I'd like to highlight. Um, you can always find us at our, on our website at www.mscrm-addons.com. Uh, as always, our Help Center, we have uh, live chat and support. Um, you can uh, hit the website there. Um, any questions or anything like that that you have to this webinar today, uh, you can also email um, support at mscrm-addons.com, and we'll get those answered for you. Uh, last but not least, I always want to uh, mention our blog. Um, that's blogs.mscrm-addons.com. Uh, a lot of things that we, you know, we update that blog constantly with tips and tricks and, you know, uh, you know, things that may not be contained in the documentation, we have that there. Um, again, you can contact us in our U.S. office here or um, on, in our European office. And then you got the support email and the office email here. So please feel free to write us with any questions that you have. So again, thank you. And I just want to go ahead and open this up for a little Q&A um, and see if there's any questions. And uh, we'll get those answered for you. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. So let's take a look here.